I still remember life before the war. I remember that we used to be different. Used to live up there, on the surface. We used to be the masters of the whole world. We built gigantic cities of glass and steel. We crossed the oceans at will. And we also conquered the skies. There used to be seven billion of us. We were not born for life in the tunnels. I was born to breathe fresh air, and I remember it. The seven billion were wiped out by the last war. Only 50,000 managed to survive underground, with the surface poisoned, burned, and teeming with horrible monsters. One day, the radiation on the surface might subside, and our grandchildren, or their grandchildren, might be able to return there. At least that's what my brothers in arms from the Order believe. Basically, there was no hope for us right off the start. Still, we humans are just too bad at surrendering. We tried to make the best of what we had, banded together, and worked to make the Metro our new home. After all, it might well be the only place left on Earth for humans to live. For a time, we thought we could make it, but, regrettably, the war didn't kill our bad habits. In the relative safety of the tunnels, corruption festered. And when danger came from above the ground, only a few of us stood against it. Our numbers dwindling by the day. But I remember we were born for a better life. And I can't accept that I'm destined to grow old and die underground. I don't care if I'm called an idiot. But if even a single shard of the old world still exists out there, I have to find it. Between endless years of hopeless existence and even a single moment of hope, I must choose hope. I must find that signal.
Hmph! <laughs> Station. 
Don't worry. I told you. I, I got it. I got it. Open up. Go. Where to now? Left across the square. Oh, hey, Demir, do you think the colonel knows what Artyom been up to here? How am I supposed to know? Ask him yourself. But he radioed from the ring, said he'd be here tomorrow. <sighs> hey, you, leave him alone. I killed it myself the... with my slingshot. <laughs> Let him learn to stand up for himself. Ah, yeah, How right. else can he hope and to survive in the metro? Rise and shine, people. Hang in there, Artyom. You gonna get a fresh dose of Spartan blood now? The doctor said you'll be fine. Are you trying to kill me with worry? What if next time you don't return from the surface? There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to find, no one to talk to. If there was, don't you think they'd be here already? We've talked about this again and again. You have to accept it. There's only us. Colonel. Hello, Alex. There you are, you stubborn fool. How many times are we going to have this conversation? I don't care if you kill yourself over this silly dream of yours. But don't you see what you're doing to my daughter? Your wife? Dad, please. The order is short on men after the battle for D6. But you leave. People need you. And you pursue your selfish obsession. But now this shit has to stop! There's only Metro, nothing else! And the Order is here to defend it! Because if not us, then who? You look fine to me. So, get ready to go. Then, we'll discuss your transfer to Polis. Come, we need to talk. I'll get the doctor. Artyom, please, promise me this was the last time. I'll see you later. Artyom, we managed to bring you back from the brink, but people are giving you their blood, which could save so many wounded, and you keep bringing it back irradiated. Don't you think that is unfair? Let me put it this way. I can't promise I'll be able to bring you back next time. Still, lucky those Spartans are damn good. They brought Artyom here just in time. They sure are. I cannot remember the last time I saw a bunch of healthy and fit people down here. Yeah, me neither. It's a shame they spend so much time on the surface. Well, sadly, it's still a joke. You must be job and no job is to keep doing that. I left the order, and now nobody gets to decide for me. Oh, I can't believe my eyes. Artyom, you're all right. You gave us a scare, brother. Artyom. How are you, friend? I see you're all right. Gentlemen, give way. This calls for a celebration. A few more scars and you'll be completely irresistible to any woman. Speaking of which, you how are the nurses in the hospital, huh? You just stop crowding him. Uh, Where are back, Artyom? Ah-ha! Dart. You're all dismissed. I give you two hours, people. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah. it's official! Yeah. I knew it! You guys are like <laughs> So I brought something. And here we go again. <laughs> Please, let's not repeat the last Hold time. Hold on, Artyom! And? More of nothing? 
Tion. The only thing I can hear is that Geiger counter ticking. <sighs> uh, yes, and there's also those damn things. Calling all the time. Let's go home, dear, please. Don't you think I'd also love to live on an ocean beach or in a green forest? But what good are these fantasies in a silent world? Silent, Artyom? Because it's dead. We took our time. Time to replace our filters. Move it. We don't need any extra radiation, darling. Oh, Father will kill me if he finds out I went up with you. Twice if he learns we've been to a Hansa off-limit zone. Have you been to all these ruins? See all the destruction. And Moscow had the best anti-air defenses in the country. If this is how it looks now, imagine how the rest of the world looks. There's just no way anything can live up here but monsters. Look, maybe you should come back to the Order. We'll move to Polis. Dad says he'll arrange a flat for us. Because if not us, then who? A flat with a kitchen and a shower. Let's go in turns here. It's not stable enough. Careful. At least it held. Well, I'd say we're out of the woods. Whoa. Hear that? Turn the light off. That? It's a pack. Just what we need. A draw. We're lucky the mutants hate each other as much as they hate us. I really don't get why this zone is off limits to stalkers. The radiation and beasts are nothing special. Turn this place into Thermopylae, or do we let them pass? Wait it out. Looks like that is all of them. I'm glad they didn't notice us. That was a large pack. Oh, is this why the zone is off limits? I mean, if all the packs here are like that.
possible to take the bridge to cross the railroad. It would save us a detour. You should have checked first, assholes. Artyom, thank God. These people, they're Hansa, not the Order. Assholes. They did a number on you. Well, Dad will rip them a new one for that. What's going on in this Moscow of yours, anyways? Of yours? You're putting this like you're not from here. We aren't. Our village is about 200 kilometers from here. What village? You're not from Moscow? Just a regular village. We came here to find the boy's father. Left for Moscow about a year ago and never came back. But then we got caught by this here. You mean there's life outside? Why wouldn't there be any? Sure, there are lots of bad places and lots of beasts around, but we still get by. Artyom, you were right. People really do live out there. We didn't know. We thought we were the only survivors. God, we'll tell the whole metro about this. The heck and the boy out! Hey, you people drove us halfway to nowhere. They can handle it. At least give them their masks back. Yeah. <laughs> 
watchman broke through. Oh, these workers are done for. Keep your weapon trained on the opening. If anything comes through, shoot. What's that noise? Attention! The turntable is switching on. Up here, we won't accept this shit again. Okay? Animals. How can they? What can I do? The mutant? The watchman? A human? How did you? Oh, oh my God! It's you she's been screaming about. Alive! You came for her. All right. I'll help. Finally, I'll be of some use. Okay. They took the girl to the base chief for interrogation. I can't take you to the main entrance. Too many guards. But we may sneak in from the back. Let's go. Don't trash though. If they notice you, we're both done for. Wait. You'd better not walk into the light. Let's do it this way. You sneak to the lighting panel and disable it while I distract them. Take him down. Can you do it quietly? By the way, what's a good mom? 
through come on hey! this system supplies air for the command center good luck to you Sitting there. We must get out before they recover. Get ready, people. Guards! You have to go sneak through the courtyard. Take the door the guards are coming through. Here, quick! Let's go! Who are you? Andrei Ivanovich Yermak, the train engineer. Run now! Just get to that hangar, then God willing, I'll get you out of here. So I have get there easily. Why are you helping us, Andrei Ivanovich? I had... Uh, uh, I guess I'll tell you later. I hope. Uh, hey guys, be careful. What's going on? Hey. Hey. Artyom, I see the enemy. <sighs> Give me a boost. Can't really see well with the snowstorm. Don't forget your visibility gauge, Atyon. If you don't move too fast and don't come out into the light, you'll be harder for them to notice. Don't turn your flashlight on either, they could notice. Atyon, incoming two of them. I'll give you some cover from above. It's on! Come! 
flashlight on either. They could notice. <laughs> Artyom, incoming. Two of them. I'll give you some cover from above.
Group A, report your static. What the hell is this? <sighs> Gotta tell me. Group B, continue patrolling the courtyard in the generator room. Group A, check the wind turbine zone. Communications were lost there. Damn, how many guards do they have? to relax like this before? I don't think so. Oh. Not getting sh- All clear. Am I glad to see you here? Are you all right? I'm fine, thank you. All right. We don't have much time. They'll be back. I'll go to the engine. It should be ready now. You go up there and Come switch the turntable mechanism on. And please, be careful. We could easily have the whole base on us. Hey, Doc! It's the enemy! More guards! Get them! Turntable on. Come on, Artyom. Turn the turntable on. Artyom, turn the turntable on.
together. Just a little. just made a huge mess, and I can't go back to Moscow now. The wartime legislation dictates they'd be killed. In any case, I have to get them out of town until it all blows over. But you all should stay. Hear me, Major? My people are in no way related to this not my this call, and you know Misunderstanding. Well, I'll jam. fight for the guys no matter what. Of course. Artyom, Anna, they are the with us. The order leaves no one behind. If you all right, Spartans, throw these overboard and full steam ahead! Come with me, Artyom. Let's catch the mare. I'm so glad the boys supported us. It looks like my father didn't say a word to them about this either. We spent 20 years in Metro, thinking the rest of the world was burnt to a crisp in the war. But they just circled Moscow with those jammers, and we were none the wiser. How perfect of them! on the surface, my father just kept lying. Lying to you, to me, to everyone, the whole fucking world, and not even batting an eye. Let them think we are surrendering. 
Ah, finally some good sense. Now, keep breaking to a stop. Well, grenades will very scratch their pain, so... How about from the inside? Not enough explosives. Unless we put everything we have in their firebox. Please, let me do it, Colonel, sir. I will be appointing the volunteers here. Our team will do it. Why are you? Because he's starting to talk, and he better do something about it. Arthur, leap over as soon as we slow down. I will distract him in the meantime. Is that you, Yakov? Yes, so cut the shit, Miller. There's nowhere to go. You've never been out here. We have. We weren't going to go far. I just out of town for a bit till the excitement quiets down. And you just opened fire. Will you let us go if we stop? I have to detain you and bring you back to face trial. You do understand the charges you're facing, right? Desertion. Treason. Are you fucking kidding me? Me? A traitor? You tell me, where are you taking that train, huh? On a simple joyride? No. I see only one after you've been fought and you're running back to your master. So the verdict has already been passed. We won't even see a trial. Cut that shit out. What are you carrying, man? Defense plans? You don't want to buy yourself a seaside retirement with a life, you damn cripple? Plans? Treason? We have served you people without question for years! We have spilled our blood for the cause! You sold out! They destroyed us and you! I have been a soldier my whole life! I have dedicated my life to my people, my country! But I'll be damned if I give it to parasites like you!
Not just traitors. We are honest to God enemy saboteurs. We stopped a hundred clicks from Moscow to check our Geiger counters. The thing is, they are all in the green, as if they're in a conspiracy. Still, this amazing piece of news doesn't really impress anyone that much. The guys are all confused as to what to do next. And I. I'm just waiting for answers. And hoping the commander, whom until recently I trusted implicitly, is going to be extremely persuasive in his reasoning. <laughs>